It's summertime here in sunny California, and we've got the heat. We love going to the beach, bike riding along the sand, and enjoying all of the outdoor fun. Santa Monica dermatologist Dr. Sonia Batra is here today to teach us how to keep our skin safe from the harsh and damaging rays of the sun. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. And one of the things I always have to remind myself is that you don't just have to put sunscreen on when you're laying out, when you're by the pool, it's right? I mean, true. this is especially here in Southern California. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's so much. Ambient UV, and there are three really good reasons you should be protecting your skin from the summer sun. Yeah. Last year alone, there were over 5.4 million new cases of skin cancer wow. in the United States, and my patients are always surprised that this is more than prostate, lung, breast, and colon cancer combined. And parents of teenagers or kids out there, if your teenager has had more than five blistering sunburns, mm -hmm. that increases lifetime risk of skin cancer between 68 and 80 percent. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. And I'm sure a lot of us have experienced that, you know, growing up as kids. And Absolutely. you brought some products here. Um, I did. It, what do we have to look for in terms of SPF? So SPF is how much the sunscreen actually mm -hmm. protects your skin from the sun. So I usually recommend at least a 30, which is a 97 percent block. Okay. But remember, SPF really only refers to the UVB, which is the narrow portion of the spectrum. Okay. So when you look for sunscreen, always look for something like this that says broad spectrum, okay. because that means it's actually going to block at least the UVA and the UVB, the whole spectrum of light, and that's actually much better. And do you recommend something like Neutrogena over other products, or you know, how, how can you kind of determine which one is best? So interestingly, Consumer Reports actually tested products and brands over the past four years, and only 48% of the sunscreens lift up to the SPF on the label. Yeah. So one tip I give my patients is go on to the Consumer Reports website okay. and actually look up which products lived up to their claim. That's, that's great actually advice. really important. Yeah, that's great advice, especially when you have kids. You, want, you don't want to make mistakes there. Absolutely. Um, and then what's this? So there's some really exciting new <laughs> skin, protection pro, you know, skin protection products on the market right now. This is a UVO drink, okay. and it actually comes as a drink and as well as a powder. And when I was looking up really exciting exciting new products. This is one that has vitamins and antioxidants okay. and it actually helps prevent sunburn as well as repair from sun damage. Just from drinking so, it. So yeah, but it's a supplement. So okay. it's not meant to be a standalone product. I you can't it. just swig this and then go out and get a, yeah. you know, get an eight hour day in the sun. But it's a really nice adjunctive way. There are other supplements too that are really exciting and new. There's a cleanser now, a wash on sunscreen cleanser. This is a new product that right. you use just like a regular facial cleanser and leaves a protective layer on really? your skin. Wow, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> and it's the first of its kind for the FDA to actually approve yeah. this as a wash on sunscreen. And then this is actually an antioxidant that you can take just as like a pill supplement before you go out in the sun. And it's also meant to protect against free radical damage. So there's a whole array of newer products in addition yeah. to the sunscreen that you can use for sun protection, especially here in Southern California where people are getting so much UV. My patients, my family, we're all out at yeah. sporting events. It's I mean, important. yesterday I was just having lunch and I was sitting in the shade and then before you know it, I was sitting in the sun and the sun moved and, yeah. you know, you're getting sunburned just eating lunch, you know? <laughs> it's true, and that's that's the thing. We're so fortunate that we have this outdoor lifestyle yeah. and there's so much UV, but I think really knowing what to look for is really important. And one tip I always give people is if it's between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., which are kind of the peak UV index hours, if your shadow is shorter than you, you should go find some shade. That means that you're really going to be out there and getting burnt. So it's looking important. at my shadow now every yeah, time I walk. Yeah, exactly. And so this is uh, Goddess Garden. Yeah, so, so this is organic? So yeah, so people now, it's so trendy that all of mm -hmm. my patients, and especially my patients who are parents, are asking me what's organic and what's natural. So what to look for is really micronized zinc oxide or micronized titanium dioxide. This is just one example, but these are products that sit on top of the skin. They form okay. a physical shield that actually flex UV right. and so they're much safer in people who have allergies in small children and they're technically the most organic or natural sunscreens you can buy non-chemical. Okay. And it seems like we're running out of time but mm -hmm. if you could get to the clothing really quick because sure, obviously are... this works right this is a good. Uh... Absolutely a broad rim tat at least a two inch hat that's <laughs> yeah. what we're always looking for and then these are actually my kids rash guards and my rash guard they're very trendy right now and they have UPF which is zinc in the fabric that confers sun protection as well UPF is just like an SPF rating but for clothes. Okay, thank so you so much, Dr. Sonia Batra, and uh, thanks so much for being here this morning. And we're gonna to learn more about Dr. Batra and her practice in Santa Monica. Just go to kcal9.com, and we will be right back. Thank you so much for having me. Thank, thank you. you.